Now, I know all of y'all are familiar with the saying, you came in something that you never had. Um, and I think the Ravens, that is exactly what it is in this case. Now, we remember back when the Ravens, they signed Jawan James. And initially when they signed him, I was thinking, what are they doing? Doesn't make any sense. Why are you signing this guy? He just tore his ACL. Like, what for? But then they showed the breakdown of the contract. And how this year was basically just a $500,000 roster bonus. And that was it. And then next year, it's it's like a steal too. Especially if he can come back and play and start. And even if he would have played this year, it still would have been a steal. And it still would have been relatively cheap. Uh, and I was like, oh, okay. Alright. Super low risk, potential, high reward. Even if you don't get a high reward, it's a super low risk. Salary ain't nothing crazy. Alright, I get it. So they signed him, and I was thinking, and we said in a couple videos, all right, anything that we get out of Jawan James, anything we get is a bonus. If, if they could get anything this year from Jawan James, it should be considered a bonus. So what happened? A couple weeks ago, Ravens were like, oh, Jawan James is practicing. They designated him to return and to start practicing, and I was like, oh. Oh, okay now. I ain't want to get my hopes up, but I was still like, oh, okay. He's practicing? What could it, could it mean something? It could. Well, it also couldn't. But I was like, all right, well, hey, that's a step. And if Ray, and, and John Harbaugh had said uh, earlier in the season, he said, with Jawan James, we could maybe get him back in December. And I was like, okay, I ain't believe him. I thought he was just talking, talking, talking. But he ended up practicing in December. Uh, but the Ravens, they, um, they, they, they put him back down. Um, and, well, I don't want to say put him back down, but they, 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 they took him off the roster. And he, uh, he's going back to the non-football injury list. Uh, so with that being said, um, his season, it's over before it even got started. And it was a long shot with Jawan James. It was, it was a super long shot. And we, like, the Ravens, they couldn't have been dependent on him. Uh, they, it wasn't like, all right, hey, uh, Jawan James, if he plays this year, that will either make or break our season. No, it wasn't anything like that. It was always a luxury. I mean, by the way, the offensive line has been, for the most part, I don't think it's a luxury. But uh, it, it, it was always considered, like I said, a bonus if he would have gotten to play this year. But, of course, he didn't. And the Ravens, um, the offensive line, now they have been better uh, over the past couple of weeks. But at the same time, uh, the play calling has also been better as well. But that's a whole nother conversation for a whole nother topic. So Juwan James, um, the Ravens, I know we talk about a lot how uh, a lot of people say, hey, this whole draft this year or next year, it needs to be offensive line and defensive line. And that's it. Of course, you sprinkle in some corner here and there. Uh, it's always, you can never have enough pass rushers, even though in this scheme, it's not built for pass rushers to really go off like that. Uh, but anyway, uh, I know most people are just heavy emphasis on offensive line and defensive line. Um, now, I do agree with that. But something we have to remember is that the Ravens, they, uh, they have an opportunity to possibly now, I've said it before and I say it again. You still got to treat it like bonuses. But they have an, a, a, an opportunity to possibly get two starters at tackle. See, last year, our problem was the interior of the offensive line. And it seems as if this year, they've solved it for now. Well, Ben Cleveland, he'll be here for at least the next three years after this year. Um, Bradley Bozeman, big question mark there because he's getting ready to be a free agent. I think that he's going to not even price himself out of Baltimore. Like that, Again, I think that that's what Ravens fans like to say to themselves, to help comfort themselves when a free agent is getting ready to leave and they know the Ravens aren't going to pay him. I, I just I feel like Bradley Bozeman, I don't know what they're going to do with him. It would be nice to have some consistency at the center position, but at the same time, I could also see them letting him go, letting him walk and he go cash in somewhere else. So we'll see what happens with him. But... Right now, the interior of the offensive line is actually doing pretty good. Bradley Bozeman, then you got Ben Cleveland, uh, and then you got Kevin Zeitler. But it's the tackles that have been a struggle. 
It's been Tyree Phillips, even though he was supposed to start at guard. Uh, it's been Alejandro Villanueva. I'm not going to get started on that because I know y'all will in the comment section. Um, but your problem went from the outside to the inside, but now it's to the outside again. But now, like, you have not even a potential solution, but again, you can get two possible starters back uh, next year with Ronnie Stanley coming back off of injury and Jawan James coming back off of injury. Two first-round picks, two guys that... um. If they're playing to, to their level, if they're playing where they have the potential to play it, then they can hold it down. But at the same time, you got to treat it like they're not even coming back. I just feel like with the Ravens, and again, it's sad to say because you, you, you hate seeing injuries just derail somebody's career. But with the Ravens, with both Jawan James and Ronnie Stanley, I feel like both of them would be bonuses. Both of them. If you get anything out of them next year, great, amazing, awesome. But I feel like the Ravens, they have to plan like those guys aren't even coming back. First round pick at tackle, I, I don't know about all that. I, I probably wouldn't do that. Second round, we talking. Third round, we definitely having a conversation. First round, though, I, I don't know about that part. But I feel like they have to address the tackle position early. And, and and not even necessarily that, all right, we got to get a tackle in the second round. We got to get a tackle in the third round. Well, you need to get a quality guy. You need to get a quality guy that can come in and play that has heart as well at the tackle position. Um, and Because and they, they just, it can't, you can't just rely on Ronnie Stanley. I'm sure, he's, he's going to come back and whatnot. That's great. But what's going to happen if you don't have a backup option and he goes down again? Because that, his ankle, like, his, his ankle is what holds him up. And is he, he's had problems with his ankle. I, I heard somebody say before he got it cleaned up and he ain't really have a, he ain't had the procedure to really go all in and, and really fix the issue. But this procedure that he recently had, that was to really fix it. And you hope that, all right, everything goes super smooth. But you just, you can't rely on him. So you need to plan uh, as if, He's not coming back. And Ravens, they, they got to be really, really smart about it. Really, really smart about it. Because you don't want to find yourself. And I, you don't expect any season to go like this. Like, because this has been crazy. You don't expect the season to go like this. But you, um, you got to plan the best that you can. The best that you possibly can. Um, so, it's just, it is what it is. And of course, again, with, with Jawan James, same thing. You can't fully rely on him to come back and you just, and it's good that he's practicing. So that's a great sign, great sign. So he's ahead of schedule and all that. And well, not really ahead of schedule. He's kind of on schedule because Harbaugh did say December. So he's on schedule, but it, that that shows that, all right, he'll be ready come training camp and all that good stuff, OTAs, all, he'll be ready. So that's great. Um, But you, you just, you, you still have to have a plan in place, a just-in-case option. Uh, so it's important that the Ravens, they, they take care of that. So, again, um, it would have been nice to, to have Jawan James on the squad this year, but we, uh, we, we, we get it. We get it. We, we understand it. This was a, a, it would have been a nice little bonus, but the fact that uh, he won't be playing it's, it doesn't come as a, a shock or anything like that. I, I feel like most people, uh, including myself, never really expected him to play this year. Uh, and if he would have played, oh, great. Awesome. But it, it wasn't in the expectation. So, like Jawan James is and um, has been, and now for the rest of the year is officially, I'm out. <laughs>